either Father Jerry or Bus as we join the choir in singing the entrance hymn. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy rich food and pure choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord 
will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Please all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. Alleluia. when they saw the mute speaking, the deformed made whole, the lame walking, the blind able to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Jesus summoned his disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd. They have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry for fear they may collapse on the way. The disciples said to him, Where? Could we ever get enough bread in this deserted place to satisfy such a crowd? And Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? Seven, they replied, and a few fish. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground, then he took the seven loaves and the fish, gave thanks, broke the loaves, gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over seven baskets full. Dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Salamat po Panginoon at narating muli ang Pasko. Isang taon ang nagdaan kami narito mo. Buhay pa rin. Nag-aalay sa inyo. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa mga blessings na natanggap namin sa taong ito. Salamat din sa mga trials na At salamat po, Panginoon, sa mga tao kasama ko sa puso ko. Wala ko may bibigay, kundi ang pag-ibig ko at ang aking panalangin na sana'y magkakasama pa rin tayo sa susunod na Pasko at sa maraming, maraming Maraming pang Pasko. Amen. Amen. 
Merry Christmas, everybody. Could you please wave to me now and Merry Christmas, everybody? Right? Okay. Tuloy ang Pero, excuse me, pag mag-wave po kayo, huwag ganyan, kasi kaya kita bil-bil. Pag mag-wave, ganun. And maybe that's the message today. Tuloy po ang Pasko. Pero yung celebration, huwag na po yung mga bongga. Simplify the celebrations. But, magnify the reason for the Christmas season, the Christmas spirit. By all means, continue with Christmas. Please don't forget, the very first Christmas was a very poor Christmas. They had nothing. In fact, there was not even a, a crib. Ang ginamit yung sabsaba. It's a manger. That's why they put food in the animals. They just put something to na si Jesus. The humility and the poverty of the first Christmas. So thank you. I know all of you are doing your efforts. Wala na kayong Christmas party, no? I don't know, what's that one? I don't know. Whatever, maybe a tunda. That's the spirit in solidarity with our brothers and sisters. So, simplify the celebration, magnify the Christmas spirit, loving, sharing. Okay. Number two, please um, focus more on your blessings. Because many of us go through life focusing on what is missing. Now become blessings. The fact that you have people with you. You know, we had a pilgrim, Nana Yini. She lives alone. There's only one child, Nasa Canada. But I can help her. And she, she was sharing, we were really, you know, she prays aloud. Lord, you're here. And she sings. In my cooking, Lord, be glorified. In my sweeping, Lord, you know. And she plays Scrabble by herself. <laughs> you know, this was a woman who focused not on the situation, but on the Lord of the situation. That's the problem with many of us. We are so focused on our situation, our problems. Excuse me, don't forget there is a Lord of this situation you're going through now. That's where you should focus. Well, you go through whole life. Come on. When will you ever learn and listen to what God is telling us? I've been through a lot of problems, trials, persecutions too. But you know what I'm holding on when the Lord says, Be still and know that I am God. If problems are not God, people are not God, your concerns are not I am God, I am in control. And I love you. That's all we need to learn. Whatever you're going through right now, you're making the problem your God. Or you're making that person your God. Somebody said, Father, I'm going to na to the husband. ko, nagluno ko. Excuse me. Baka sumbatan ka lito ang you love somebody too much. Sumbatan ka ni Lord at the end of your life. Alam mo, you made him your God. You made her your God. I am God, and I love you. Please don't forget the, the outlook. Okay? Focus on your blessings. I had a classmate I visited in. It was so sad. He became a lawyer. He never married. He's an honest guy. You know, when I visited him in his house, gosh, there was only a folding bed in the sala, a little TV, a little table. He was all alone all these past three years. He was skin and bones. Not even a telephone, not even a cell phone. You take your people so for granted many times. Thank them that there are people around you. Okay. You know, I told him last week, I prayed over him and we sang the Salvary Jira together. She was, he was crying. Um, a week later he died. So please, Christmas time is to say to people again, thank you. Appreciate them now. Bottom line, I, I, I'm maybe morbid, but I always say this. Look, think about it. There were people who were with you last Christmas. 
and are no longer with you this Christmas. And there are people who are with us this Christmas, who may not be with us anymore next Christmas. So why don't you make this the best Christmas ever yet? It could be his or her last Christmas. It could be your, it could be my last Christmas, I don't know. So the message again is, do not postpone your time. And of course, do not postpone your conversion. Today you hear his voice, or do not your heart. I turned 60 last October 1, and I was in your 60 cent. And you know, more and more, my, my motto is, Lord, help me to live the rest of my life, the best of my life. You must be forward-looking. Ay, palubog na tayo, wala na. No, 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 no. The best is yet to come. The rest of my life, the best of my life. And please don't forget, the most important journey in your life is not your career journey. It's not your popularity journey. It's not your financial journey. The most important journey is your journey to God's heart. Sooner or later, if not now, we're making that journey already. Don't wait for the time that uh, tragedy strikes you, uh, may namataya, may nagiwalay, or na bankrupt, then when nagkasakit ka na, saka ka lang, mag-journey to God. Worse, some people realize that on their deathbed, ha, huh? dapat pala ako nag-journey kay God to them. So if ever you go through problems, God is leading you closer to His heart. Maligaya ang paglalakbay. Believe me, it will be okay. So sisters and brothers, Merry Christmas. May Christmas be beautiful for all of you, for all of us. And may we make Christmas beautiful for other people as well. You have been so blessed by God. Please share your blessings. And will you please tell the person you, beside you again, I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you're still alive. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <coughs> Can you, I think you can do better than that. Pwede bang akbayan mo yung katabi mo at sabihin mo sa kanya, Kumawa Sa piling ko sinta Paano ang pastor Alay ko sa'yo Take that also from the Lord telling you now, kung mawawala ka, kung wala ka sa piling ko ngayon, paano yung Pasko na iniaalay ko sa'yo? Please be one with God. Bow your heads in prayer. Most loving Father, we can never thank you enough. You're always there. You always love us. Thank you. Thank you for loving us. Mama Mary, thank you for being a mother to us. Please be with us in our journey. All of us have struggles. Thank you for the many blessings. And forgive us. Help us to change what we need to change in our lives. So that we can live the rest of our lives. The best of our lives. In this moment of quiet, tell the Lord, tell Mama Mary, your special Thanksgiving special requests and intentions. MMGA. On the road. MM. Always remember as you walk on, Mama Mary is beside you. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. The fruit of your womb, Jesus. MGA. Guardian Angel. 
don't forget guardian angel is also beside me. Angel of God, guardian leader. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Uh, could you give some cheer? Don't worry, be happy. God loves you. And Mama Mary loves you. Please rise for the prayers of the faithful. In the miracle of feeding of the 5,000 people, our Lord shows us that the Father will give us everything we need. Let us ask Him for all the good gifts He can provide us. That our pastors may continue to nourish us with the spiritual food that comes from our Lord's table. Let us pray to the Lord. God our provider, bless us. That government leaders may find ways to respond to the needs of our poor brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. God our provider, bless us. That those who experience spiritual hunger may find Christ in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. God our provider, bless us. That we who are gathered here may love Jesus Christ as he gives himself to the multitude in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. God our provider, bless us. That all who have died may come to share in the feast of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God our provider, bless us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, dear Mama Mary. We offer all these prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Christmas wish mo at ipagdarasal ko sa isang iba. Come on.
please remember your wishing. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. And lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ. He assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, so fulfilled the design we formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. But when he comes again in glory and majesty, and at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit a great promise in which we now dare to hope. So with the angels and archangels, the thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. For two or three are gathered in my name, and there I am in the midst. Let us welcome the Lord in our midst and in our hearts. Let us welcome the Blessed Mother, who is present in every Mass of her Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your Spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy. They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, <clears throat> that we really accepted the bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. And supper was handed, he took the cup again and gave you thanks and praise. Gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. With this in memory of me. History of faith. <clears throat> In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life giving bread and this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, our Nestor, our Bishop, the clergy, all our missionaries and religious all over the world. Remember the Lord, our departed relatives and friends. Bring them and all the departed to the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God with the Apostles and Martyrs, with John Damascus, and all who have done your will throughout the ages, and may we praise you in union with them and give you glory for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Don't worry, be happy. Why? Because we have a Father. A Father who knows, who sees everything. Who will take care of everything. Trust God more. And you'll have peace. We surrender to this loving God every day as we now pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I was a little fast. Many times you pray, hindi mo nasa puso, mo nasa muso. Please pray, 
May I ask one more time, let's pray with love, with so much love. He loves us so much. Let's pray from the heart, not just from the mouth, and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us as we forgive those who have sinned. This is not a temptation. Make the Father smile and not. Thank you, Father. Please deliver us from all evil. Deliver us from wars, from calamities, from accidents. Deliver us from disabling illnesses. Deliver us from selfishness, selfish preoccupations, and selfish depressions. And deliver us from evil people with evil intentions. Grant us peace. Keep us free from sin. Protect us from all dangers, protect us from useless worries, useless heartaches, and useless anxieties. As we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I give you peace, and my peace I give you. Do not upon our many sins, O God, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Yes. So I wish you all peace and, and joy. Some of us have not smiled for so many years already. <laughs> uh, please don't forget the eleventh commandment is don't take yourself too seriously. Some of us are too serious with our blessings, you're so sensitive about what Excuse me, all these blessings come from God. We have received more than we have achieved in this life. So don't take that too seriously, okay? Don't let go in your head. And some of us are too serious with our problems. Problems and problems. And you forget your blessings. There is a God who loves you. So please give the, a blessing of peace to the people around you with the cross. God bless you. Mama Mary loves you. Peace be with you. God bless you and Mama Mary loves you. Lamb of God. Whoever you are, or whatever you're going to, the Lord is here. The Lord who loves you. Nothing is impossible with the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Help me. Help us. Heal me. Heal us, Lord. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving us hope with Christmas. Happy and grateful are we who are invited to this banquet. God in blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. <coughs>
the universal celebration of the Feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary will be celebrated on Monday, December 9, instead of 8 December, to give way to another important church event, the second Sunday of Advent. We will have a Mass here, as it is a day of holy obligation. The next Lunch and Learn series will be held on December 12, from 12 noon to 1 p.m. here at the ADB Briefing Theater. The topic is, Come Lord Jesus, Be Our Light. The guest speaker will be Father Anton Pascual, Executive Director, Caritas Manila, Archdiocese of Manila, and is currently the President of Radio Veritas 846. The Living Light community would like to thank all those who, who have supported this year's cake, wine, and chocolate raffle fundraising. To increase your chances of winning, and to donate more, the draw of the date, the draw date scheduled on 5 December will be extended to December 12. We are still awaiting pledges from donors and ticket payments to be remitted. So just hold on to your stops. Those who don't have tickets yet, you still have a chance to be part of our community's outreach programs. Bukit Kabataan Center, National Center for Mental Health, the Naga Orphanage Projects, and other charity works. For inquiries, please see Meng Paet or Helen Carnesser. They are the ones selling the tickets at the table outside. We would like to thank all those who, who have provided assistance in terms of cash and in-kind donations for those affected by Typhoon Yolanda. These efforts are ongoing and we encourage all to continue praying and providing assistance in any way possible. In case your department, division, or sports hobby clubs are contemplating to donate a portion of your year-end budget to charity instead of having a grand Christmas party, please consider Caritas Manila, the Mayan. Uh, the bank videos are provided. Lastly, we would like to thank our priest presider, Father Jerry Orbos, SVD of Christ the King Parish in Rodriguez, Quezon City. Thank you, Father, for celebrating the uh, by the way, um, why, why the December 8th, because there's no higher series to prove that we honor the Lord more than anyone else. Mama Mary is the secondary. Okay. Uh, it's also the 92nd birthday of my mom, December 8th, so pray for my mom. Okay. And uh, I brought with me my latest book, Senior Moments. So, and I dedicated it to my mama. Uh, get plenty of those for your Christmas gifts and help the missionaries and help the people uh, for grand charities this Christmas. Also, the scapular there to give to friends who wherever wears the scapular will be under her special protection. And the seed as well. So, para pakinga mo yung mga jokes and stories para hindi ka high blood at hindi mataas ang kilay mo. Alam niyo na nakakataas ng high blood? sa Litson, hindi ko yung balat, hindi yung tawa, hindi yung laman, yung buto. Hmm, Tarating ka ba naman sa handaan, buto lang na <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't forget humor. One of the best ways to overcome whatever, you know, depressions, etc. is to smile. And to say, Lord, you're in control, you'll take care of everything. Amen? Amen. Please rise now for the final blessing. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults. Prepare us for the coming feasts against this true Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow your head, tell the Lord again your thanksgiving, your special request and intention. And please pray for the request and intention of your brother, your sister, a while ago. Don't forget, God loves you very much. Mama Mary loves you very much. You have a mission. And your final destination is to go to heaven. 
May God Almighty bless us all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Again, Merry Christmas to all of you. And pakisabi mo sa katabi mo yung yung hinihim mo kanina, okay na raw sabi ni Mama. <laughs> God bless us all. Merry Christmas, everyone. Father Orbos will sign the books here and also put up the copy for those who bought. Just 